solve 2 times the sine squared of x plus 3 sine x plus 1 equals 0. And we're looking for all solutions to this equation over this interval here. So solution. Let's go ahead and try to factor this. So 2 sine x, and I'll go ahead and put a parentheses here, and then parentheses sine x. And let's see, 2 sine x times sine x, that's going to give us 2 sine squared. So that part's OK. Now we just need two numbers that multiply to 1. Well, let's try 1 and 1. So plus 1 and plus 1. And let's see if this actually works. The middle term and the outside term should give us this one. So, or rather, the inside is sine x. And the outside is 2 sine x. Yep, and if you add them, 2 plus 1 is 3, so it checks. Okay, so we have a product, and it's equal to 0, so we can go ahead and set each factor equal to 0. So 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. And then over here we have sine x plus 1 equals 0. Let's go ahead and solve this one first. Subtracting 1, we get 2 sine x equals negative 1. And then finally, we'll go ahead and divide by 2. So the sine of x is equal to negative 1 half. Now here is where you have to draw on some deep, or rather not deep, but some trig knowledge. Um, if you have this memorized, if you know that the sine of pi over 6 is equal to 1 half, then you know that the other answers, the answers to this equation, are all going to be multiples of pi over 6. So it's going to be one of these guys, pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, or 5 pi over 6. So now what you do is you think about the unit circle. And you want sine to be negative. That means you're going to be down here and down here, right? Because on the unit circle, sine is the y coordinate. So you want to ask yourself, OK, what's an angle that's a multiple of pi over 6? It's one of these that's down here. Well, pi is 6 pi over 6. So if you go pi over 6 more, you get to this angle here. So one angle will be 7 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6, that's one of our angles. You might say, what about the one down here? Well, that's going to be 11 pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6. So that takes care of those two. And then here you end up with sine x equals negative 1. And again, think about the unit circle. So here's the unit circle. And this is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So when is the y-coordinate equal to negative 1? Well, right there. And this angle here is simply 3 pi over 2. So x is equal to 3 pi over 2. And that's it.